So the new SSL Ultraviolet EQ has just released. And what I wanted to do was just show you how easy it is to map this EQ or any EQ to just map it onto the S4. So what we do is we find our channel, which uh, I've just put it onto this channel, for instance, now. Right, now we just hit custom, and then we want to map it onto here. Now what we have there is all our parameters that are on here. So what I like to do is I like to build it so that it looks exactly as this is. So what we have on the left hand side is the input. So we find the input, we put the input, let's say there. Now that will control the input there. Then we've got the high frequency. Now, so what we'll do is we'll put the output, which is here, we'll put that there. So we've got one either end. Then we have two in the middle. So what I like to do is I like to kind of look at it as, right, these two here are going to be there. So maybe that those two are going to be the two at the bottom. Or I'll put it in freeze. So we work out roughly what we want to do. So the high pass filter is here. So let's just put that one there. So now that gives us the high pass filter uh, parameters. So we've got this one here, this one here. Then let's say we've got Hertz for the low band. So we go low, what would it be? Low cut, no. Would it be low cut? Uh, let's see. Yes, low cut. So low cut, we'll put there, uh, which I actually want to clear. And I'm going to put the low cut there. And then I'm going to put the uh, high cut here. So then what we have is we have control of our low cut and a high cut there. It just, what the reason I do it like this is so that it's mapped exactly or, or pretty much as close as it can be to, to this. So this looks like this. I'm actually going to go put the high cut there. So that way you've got spacing in between and then our bypass can go here. Now that means that our bypass is right at the bottom and then this one up here, this one here. So then it, it keeps like a nice kind of uh, a uniform way of working. Then what I'm going to do is I've got the high gain, which I'm going to put here. Now that gives me control of the high gain. And then I'm going to put oh, low gain here. Now the low gain gives me that control there. So you can see that this kind of mapping kind of it, it follows this mapping how the um how the visual visual plugin looks. So we've got that kind of left to like one set to the left to touch. Then we have fat, which you know I could put here, I'm gonna put there. So we just got the fat switch, and sometimes, yeah. So you've got a switch so you can switch it or you can do turn the knob. Um, so yeah, that's basically now mapped. So now if we hit done and um, now we've got uh, that control, let's put these over to here. So we have it on this one, insert, bosh. Now we've got straight control of every parameter and we don't, the thing is with the S4 is because we've mapped it so accurately to this, you don't end up having to look at either. So you, you know that that is that, and that is that, and that, because it's down there is that, and that is bypass, and you know that that's on a button, and you know exactly that that does that because of how you've custom mapped it. So that's basically custom mapping on the S4, and that's what makes the S4 a very, very, very handy tool.